hello guys welcome back once again um today i'm going to do a reading that actually i was a bit hesitant about doing it because uh like um i try not to do um uh, i wouldn't say shipping I, I mean i always say shipping readings that i don't do about uh shipping certain members um but uh i actually always do about uh people that actually had uh some kind of relationship already been like um somehow like uh, announced or that it had had become like open to the public uh without with proof or without proof we can take this part for example that well sometimes these things are not confirmed but nevertheless there are a bit of proof uh and this is this case um uh, i wouldn't i mean i decided to do it anyways because uh they you were so insisting about it that i was thinking like okay but i'm going to still make the clarification that this is going to be the last uh person that i'm going to do uh a reading with jenny like because i said that i want to leave her energy alone but since they're both from YG, or at least they were, because this member is no longer part of the group, but I wanted to just clarify the air about whether it could be possible or not, according to the tarot. So I'm talking about Blackpink's Jenny and Hanbin, or BI, of Icon, actually ex-member of Icon, because I think that he's no longer with the group. So... <clears throat> So let's start a bit with what the cards have to say about this. Um, from his side, I placed him on the left and he got the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Wands and the Empress. So obviously what I can see from his point of view about Jenny is in about uh, this, uh, about how he felt about Jenny, I, felt like, I feel like he felt like... Um, or at least he saw Jenny like someone that is very uh, driven, uh, that is very hardworking and that is very passionate and actually very like um, goal orientated. I think that he saw in her a lot of potential um, and that I think that I don't know if maybe he had met her during the trainees years or, or what, but he had seen all um he had seen like all the development or maybe all the growth in her training but there's something about her like uh he got this um this perception of jenny of being really tough like in a sense that uh she could look sweet and cute and and and, and very young but actually that she's a very passionate person and that she um, I believe that he saw her like very ambitious, you know, like because I, I this card of the three of, of coins talks about gaining and the three of ones talks about enterprise. So it's about you planning ahead what you want to accomplish and the Empress energy. It's about manifesting all your power, all your inner power and using all your inner resources in order to grow as a person or to uh grow your own uh your own project or to uh, start a new project so i think that he saw a lot of ambition in jenny uh which i think that he could a bit identify with her or, or her her this energy of her actually being really intimidating when she was on stage or there was something about her that was like really serious or like she was really uh, like she was really decided to make it but uh that she had this attitude of all or nothing and i think he found that very uh, admiring uh and actually he could relate a bit about that because uh i have the sense that he also had to uh work a lot of himself and also improve a lot of things about himself in order to 
um, be where he was or, or to debut with the group. So I think that he admired her, uh, her passion and the, and, the, and the drive that she, uh, that he perceived that she had at the beginning. Uh, and also that she had this image of um, being really powerful um like she like acting um like not acting like the leader of the group like like she would be like the leader of the group actually acting like she she was the leader of herself you know having this attitude of being in her power and actually being really like um confident about who she was so she had this kind of vibe this kind of energy that you could uh and that she also was, uh, that she seemed like she would do whatever it takes to make it, you know, like, uh, because it seems like if she wanted to be fierce, she could, she could do it. And she could also be sweet at the same time. But actually, I don't see any kind of feelings at all. Um, so I'm going to be honest, this is why I'm going to, like, try to make this interpretation really short, because... To be honest, I don't see any kind of feelings. I see a lot of respect, a lot of mutual respect, but I don't see feelings here. So let's go with Jenny's side, how she view a uh, Hanbin or BI. Uh, and she got the priest, the card of the priest, the five of pentacles and the uh, page of wands. So I think that she definitely also admire him a lot because she, she saw him like this uh image like this out out this image of authority like he was really like within the group that he had some kind of uh, authority or that he was like uh a representation of doing the things right and and also to keep everything in order so i think that she she had really admired him a lot um <clears throat> And she also admired, like, I think that there's also a duality in him. I think that she he could be, like, really, uh, also really ambitious and really, like, uh, a strong, a strong presence in, in on a stage. But that actually behind the scenes, he was actually very, very different from that image. And that actually he, she perceived him as being this, almost like a poet you know like being really like sensitive sensitive you know like he had this um this kind of desire to do other things and to it's like he didn't belong anywhere it's like he didn't uh although he he initially signed a contract and he knew what he wanted then eventually he started to change to transform his uh his image so I think that uh, this maybe has to do with his decision or maybe his decision about leaving the group. I think, I don't know what were the circumstances, uh, why he made the decision. But I think that uh, there's an aspect, about, there's a side to that decision that actually uh, Jenny kind of knew or she, like, she... I think that she had this perception or this intuition that maybe out of all the members that he would be the one that would make that uh that decision because she saw like like um he was really uh like someone that you that was always transforming himself so you never get to know him for real actually i think that yes she did respect him as a fellow idol or maybe as as someone that uh they they maybe saw each other a couple of times but i don't think they were close um because and i think that if they were close or if they had some kind of interaction it was more about giving and receiving uh giving each other's feedback or talking about work or like uh, giving each other some kind of advice for for each other's circumstances so i believe that maybe it could be like uh, some kind of conversations but i don't think they were uh, very deep i think they were more about work 
and about um, maybe talking about projects that each other like each of them wanted to achieve so they would talk to each other about it and I think that there was like this kind of like there were like good vibes it, it wasn't awkward but I don't think I think that at least from what I can see from Jenny she had a lot of respect for him but at the same time it's like there's something about his personality that she could never like understand because and and you know that Jenny is uh, is very intuitive so I think that for her to not be able to figure out what he was about or maybe what it, it was like his energy was very like uh, diffusing so it's like you and almost like confusing like maybe one day he would he would talk to you and then at the other day he would be really moody and he wouldn't talk at all so he had those mood these mood changes uh that was really hard to get to know him so i think that uh she maybe what she saw in him is that actually there was a, a part of him that he felt maybe a bit lonely or that he tried to compensate that loneliness with uh, maybe like trying to um, like trying to to escape for re from reality there's a, a, a sense of escapism here so I don't know um, uh, what were the circumstances why he left but i think that he he did it in order because he he didn't he didn't want to be that person anymore um so this is why i cannot see the real motives because in at least from what i can see from jenny is that she will always have this image of of respecting him from for what for the role that he played in the in the group or for and for all the apports that he did but actually i see i see her like actually feeling a bit uh sorry for him you know like like being like like um that she actually wishes him to do well in whatever he is or whatever he's doing uh, and I think that she kind of understands why he needed to uh, start a change for himself. Uh, I think that there's a part of her that also can relate to this. And also, I, I, maybe it's because uh, actually both of them being part of the same company, they they must know things about, uh, about what it's like to be... Um, um, to be someone that other people look up to, you know, because, um, for example, I don't think that Jenny is the leader of Blackpink, but I think that nevertheless, everyone is looking at her. So everyone is like expecting something from her, whether it's good, positive or negative. There's always people like having expectations of who and why and what she is. And I think that she could relate that uh, Hambin went through the same until he decided he didn't want it anymore he didn't want that uh, that um, to carry that baggage anymore uh, and he did it he, i believe that he made the decision for his own well-being i mean he didn't want to in any way to per perjudicate or to uh, make the members go through a, a, difficult, a difficult times but actually he needed to do this for himself he needed somehow he needed to break himself free so and and th this was something that i think that jenny kind of like there was something about his behavior that gave it away or at least this is what uh, jenny's perception or view of him is telling me like like yes like he was very like like he gave me really leader vibes like he had everything under control but within himself he was out of control it's like within his own persona within his own self he was out of control 
So I think that's it's why he needed to get away from this. So, and the cards that came out for the overall re uh, relationship comes the card of the strength, the judgment, and the eight of cups. So, yes, I believe that, yes, there, there, were, there, were, there wasn't like a connection, an emotional connection. Actually, I believe that if they, um, I don't think that they actually had the chance. I, I'm not saying that they didn't like each other. I think that there was like some kind of um uh, that they really like uh like each other like there there wasn't like any kind of hate or dislike it's just that they didn't have the time to get to know each other because actually uh th there were a lot of restrictions first of all and there were a lot of things that were like um I don't know, like there were a lot of things that maybe a lot of conversations between I don't know why, but but there there were a lot of uh, I don't think I I mostly see him because the eight of of cups talks about instability, so an emotional instability. So I think that he wasn't actually really ready to commit to anyone emotionally because he was like broken he was like i don't know if he went through some kind of loss like personal loss you know uh but he was a bit heartbroken he was a bit tired he he felt really tired like emotionally drained so i think that there wasn't any possibility of like uh, a connection not because they they didn't like each other maybe if they had met in a different situation or maybe if they weren't from the same company because i believe that this also has to do with uh with the fact that they were both from the same company that they actually like you know there were rumors you know they were gossiping that they would eventually find out about each other and i don't know why but i don't think that the gossiping was about Jenny. I think that the gossiping was about um, more about Hambin, you know, like I think that people knew that he was going through something or he had said something that it was, it was like like other other groups or other idols knew about his his like his inner inner struggles or something like this. And also there was also like a little bit of pride. Um, I don't know why, but uh, I know a lot of people ask me about uh, to do a reading about uh, Blackpink and an icon. But actually, I don't know, there's something about, especially about Jenny, that I don't think that they they truly are interested like in in interacting with her like there's something about her that they they try to stay away from or, or something like that they didn't want to get involved with her or the other members um i don't think it's about competition but maybe there was a bit of jealousy you know because I have the feeling that they went through a period where they were getting like a lot of promotion and then all of, all of the sudden, like I said in the icons reading, you know that everything like is just stopped suddenly and, and then they they focused on other groups and they tried to promote or maybe to do more things for other groups. So I think that uh, this is also what made them made the group a bit more hermetic so I wouldn't be able to see if there's a real bond here like really I don't see it but uh, there's a respect because they are like it's like oh it's it's at least the same when you go to the same school with other people like like and you cross in the hallways and you're like oh yes I know you yes hi hi I know who you are yes uh, but there's not like much deepness in that and and maybe if they had a few interactions i'm sure it was 
recorded and I'm sure it was on the cameras but I don't see like a development I see that there's no uh, I think that each of them were really concentrated on their own goals and they were really like uh, they tried to keep everything professional just not to uh, to bring more attention to themselves because I think that they work really hard to get to where they were uh, so they didn't want to like to break any rules or, or sort of that so I'm going to leave it guys here because I don't see much so anyways if you do have some kind of feedback I um, I, I read it and, and I also learn from you and from your feedback because well some of you know the, these groups better than I do so maybe you can like we can share a bit about uh, what, what I saw in this tarot reading and what you think about your own perceptions too so let's work in, in each other's perceptions because everything everything works and and it's okay so um, I'll see you in the next video bye